Hi, we are on our 11th day of the workshop on how to prepare for interview. In continuation to the internal factors that are affecting an employee's condition, we are supposed to discuss today about the political conditions that are existing between the management and the employees. So, what can happen if such issues are there in an organization? And if you don't know and join in there, it may affect your existence in the organization. It may affect your number of aspects of the employment. So let us discuss all of them one by one. Before getting into know why we should understand this aspect, that reason let us discuss. First of all, any employee joining uh, to an organization should be aware of the political conditions, especially between management and employees for certain reasons. What are those reasons? First, it affects the industrial relations. If you are not aware of what is the politics that is existing between the employees and the management in the particular proposed employ employment or employer's organization. You will be in shock when you come to know, after joining, when you come to know that there are huge issues of industrial relations. Maybe multiple unions will be there and then you will be harassed by number of union heads um, convincing you to join, negotiating you to join their organization. Like that, the power of a union exists in the number of members associated to it. So what happens, every, organi every union's leaders and key representatives will try to sit on your head and try to negotiate with you to join his organization, his trade union. So like that, multiplicity of unions will be there if you don't know the industrial relations issue. So that will be a first and foremost problem that you are going to face after you join. Then there are a number of reasons why uh, industrial relations between management and employees should be considered as another one, working environment. If you have huge industrial relation issues, every now and then you will be facing strikes Hartals and unnecessary stoppage of works, and sometimes those stoppages, if uh, if called for uh, beyond the limits of uh, legal rights, they may even go into loss of pay, loss of employment, loss of your life. So these are serious concerns in terms of industrial relations. So that is another reason why should you know about the industrial relation that exists between the management and the employees. Next aspect that you need to consider in order to know the industrial relations issue is the power and voice of the unions will be totally lost or unknowingly after you join, unknowingly you join uh, one of the organizations, one of the trade unions in the uh, organization. Means after join only you will come to know whether it has power or not. You may, not, you may not be told everything in clear when you join about the relationship of, between the employer and employee. So after you join, maybe by uh, too much of pressure or uh, too much of um, offers by certain one particular uh, trade union, you would have joined uh, thinking that it's doing well. But what happens? Generally, that, or, uh, that union may not have enough voice. So unknowingly, you have joined them. That's going to be a problem for all your issues later on. So these are certain reasons why for which you should know what is the condition of industrial relations between the management and the employees. Next, how to understand these kind of issues in an organization? First and foremost, uh, nothing but you can understand everything through your relationship with the existing employees before you join itself, you will have your friends, those who are there, or you might have your relatives, those who are already there. If you have these, either these are that or both, that means you are in a most advantageous position to know what is happening then and there. 
So you might you uh, can get a uh, clear idea of whether to accept the offer from this organization or not, because you already have members to share about everything happening there, isn't it? So that is one source. Second source from which you can understand the industrial relations issue is major issues that are in limelight. There'll be a number of issues which might not have publicized, but certain key issues, very critical issues, typical issues will get public, published in newspapers. Reliable, standard, quality newspapers will publicize these matters. So those are the other sources by which you can understand the existing industrial relationship issues in the particular organization. So the, with this, let me conclude this session. Let us see about the rest of the factors we will discuss in the next session. Bye.